Well, everyone, I am, uh, I'm glad you could make it again to our celebration of the light. Would you uh, please join with me in our formal or opening? Uh, today we celebrate the light. The, the light, light is holy. The light is good. The light is sacred. The light is beautiful, and the light reveals to us all things. All, all things, things are revealed by the light. Amen. 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 Sounds good. Dean? Yeah. Oh. A reading from the Book of Light. The people living in darkness have seen a great light, and those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, my message for us today is just a, a very, very short and simple one, and that is that, that we would all always be thankful for the light. Uh, we know that at one time we all lived in darkness, we were all lost, we were all alone, and then the light broke into our world, and it saved us. And uh, now we can see one another for the first time, and, and that is awesome. And it's true that we're still, there are shadows, and it's still dark, and we can't see each other perfect yet. But at least we can see each other now, right? Right, right. yeah. And the other thing is that we can see perfectly clear this beautiful spot on the floor. Yeah. Um, for that, we are thankful, That's right? Uh, yeah. Yep. yeah. So our, our message today is simply this, that, that we would live every day in thankfulness, that we would live every moment of our lives giving thanks for the light. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. Tim, that was a good word. Thank yeah. you. Indeed. I, you know, I don't think we could ever be too thankful for the light. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, Josh, um, I, I finally remembered those uh, baseball cards that I promised you. Would, would you like to have them? Really? Absolutely. Can I? Sure, sure you can have them. Just be careful. Make sure you go around the light. I will. All right. <laughs> Well, be, be, be careful. Golly. There you go, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, you bet. I hope you yeah. like them. I do. These are great. Bet. Careful. <laughs> hey, Dad. How come we always have to go around the light and never in it? Well, because that's what we do, Josh. You know, we are, we are thankful for the light, of course, but we don't go into it. But why? Why don't we ever go in the light? Because, uh, again, we are thankful for the light, and, and, and we celebrate the light, and that's good enough. But I wonder what, we, what it's like in the light. Oh, Josh, what, what do you mean? I mean... I wonder what would happen if we stood in the light. I wonder what we might see. <laughs> Josh, no, no, you, uh, you don't understand. Again, we are thankful for the light. We rejoice in the light. We talk about the light, and, and that is enough. Yes, it's, son, you better listen to your father. You don't want to go off and become sort of, some sort of a, a radical. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe he's got something there. I wonder, I wonder what it would be like to walk in the light. Aw, oh, not, not you too. No. I mean it. Like, we talk about the light all the time, right? We, and we talk and we talk and we, you know, we learn and we learn, but I don't know. I wonder what would happen if, if we did more than just talk. What, what are you talking about, Dean? What do you mean? I don't know. What would it be like if we actually stepped into the light? Hey, hey, listen, listen. The, the light is awesome. I, I get it, but it's it's only one part of life. Now, don't go crazy on us here. You you step into that. You step into that light, and it could change everything. Do you want that? Do do you want do you want to be different than everybody else? But it might be cool. Josh, stop it. You don't know what you're. <laughs> You're young, Josh. You don't understand these things. Oh, some influence you are. I don't know. I just think maybe we're supposed to do more than just talk. Dean, 
again, I get it. But we do. We rejoice in the light. We talk about the light, and that's that's good enough. You know what? Us. That's good enough. Maybe, maybe. But I don't, I don't want just hey, good hey, enough. Hey, okay? what are you doing? Just sit, sit, down. sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Go. I just, I just want to be in the light. Okay. Can I go? No, sit. <laughs> you, you're gonna lose everything. Do you want that? You know what I want? I want the light. Oh, Dean. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. What's it like? I can see out! What, what are you what talking do you mean? about? What do you mean by out? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. We're living in a box! Oh, uh, yeah! That's, oh, that's ridiculous. No, 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 I'm serious. And th wait, there's more. There's meadows and, and trees. And there's other people. Uh, there's other people out there. See, see, you, you've changed. I, I knew that you would. Trees and meadows. Come on, dude. Dean, come out of the light. Sit down again. Come back to us. No. Sit down. We'll talk about it. Listen, you guys need to get up and step into the light. This is awesome. Stand up. No, no. Come on. Sit. Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's something else. This, this opens. Oh. There's a whole world out there. There's a whole world that we can see. Come on, you, we can get out. Yeah. No, no, see, I knew it. You've gone and become some sort of a radical. Come you, on, you know what? Dean. You, you go ahead to your, your, your trees and your meadows. We're staying here. We're staying right here. It's fine for us right here where we're at. Tim? You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I, I guess. But Dean, we have the light. It, this is good enough for us. But there's a whole world out there. There's a world for us to see. Ah, enough, enough! You know what, you, you just go. Just, just leave us alone. Josh, come on. Sit. <laughs> Let us, let us give thanks for the light. Amen. Amen. One of the dangers for us that have grown up in the church and Christianity is that it is true that, that we talk about the light, about Jesus. For many of us, we learn about the light, Jesus, and that is all good. But scripture says this, Jesus says this, Praise be to the Lord, our Savior, who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He has called us into something. And our temptation is always to, no, 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 I don't I'll, I'll talk about Jesus, I'll praise Jesus, I'll worship Jesus, I'll learn about Jesus, but this whole idea of, of stepping into the light and allowing him to penetrate us from top to bottom. Gary was right in this skit. There is a warning with that in that if we do that, it will change us. It will change us. But it will change us in awesome ways. Jesus wants to change us, that we might see things differently, that we might think differently, that we might experience differently, that we might desire differently, and everything that Jesus calls us to is better. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it to the full. Don't stay in the box. Don't stay on the outside looking at the light. He says, come into me. Let me transform you more and more into my image. <clears throat> For some of us, that can be a scary thing because we go, yeah, I, I love Jesus. I want to talk, but to let him really penetrate and change my heart, my thoughts, my desires, that's a scary thing. But it's an awesome thing.
And it's something that our Lord calls us to. Jesus died for us. He saved us. That is an incredible gift for us Christians. And we rejoice in that. We find hope in that. We find peace in that. We find joy in that. And hang on to that every day of our lives. But every day of our lives, Jesus says, yeah, but now come. Be my disciple. Follow me. What do you think following me means? It means allow me to transform you from the inside out, your hearts, your desires. Are there areas, those of you who are seniors, juniors, sophomores, are there things in your life where you go, yeah, there's things in my life that I have not let Jesus really transform, where I've just kind of stayed on the outside and looked in. Jesus says, let me have that thing. Let me have that temptation. Let me have that fear. Let me have that anxiety. Let me have that attitude, and I will, I will wreck it, and I will make something better out of it. You guys, life as a Christian is this grand adventure. If you read any of C.S. Lewis's works, which they're awesome, almost all of his stories have this call to the Christians, further up, farther in, further up, farther in. Come on the great adventure of discovering who we truly are as new creations. Because it's different. And there's more to be had every day of our lives until the day we are finally called to heaven. So do you have reason to be excited for this school year? Of course you do. Of course you do. Because we are called to be in the light. Not just talk about it. Not just look at it. Not just see what it, it does, but allow it to truly help us see things differently. Help us be different people. That's an awesome thing. That's my prayer for you guys this year. That's what we pray to staff, and that's what we will continue to pray, that we would walk in the light this year. Isn't that a sweet message, guys? Awesome. It's like a little affirmation. Let me pray for you guys. Father, we come to you and pray that this school year, for all of us here, Lord, whether for those who are, are questioning their faith, Jesus, I pray, or those that don't even know what Christianity is about, we have some international students here that this is so new for our international students. I pray, Jesus, that they would learn about you and that you would introduce yourself to them, that they would discover that you are more than just someone in a book from long ago but that you are alive today and that you save today and that you love them today. Father, I pray that they would discover that in this year here at Concordia Academy. Father, for those of us that are already in that, that know that truth and rejoice in our salvation, Father, I pray that you would help us, give us a desire to want more, to not settle for this is enough, to want more, to be in the light. Father, I pray that you give us the courage, maybe give us the courage with a friend, a friend that we are committed this year to, to see what more Jesus might do in our lives, how he might change our thinking, our desiring, our actions, our thought patterns, all those things to be transformed. Jesus, I pray that this would be a year that at our closing chapel this year, when I bring this point up again, that in that closing chapel, people would go, you know what, the Lord did amazing things. I took that step of walking in the light and he changed me more and more in the adventure of going further up and farther in, Lord. To that end, that's what we want to happen this year. And to that end, Lord, we pray that you would bless this school year from beginning to end. And we begin this year in your name. Amen.